So I'm playing Super Hot, and if you've played it before, you already probably know what I'm about to say because it is awesome. If you didn't like this game, I don't actually. I don't think I've talked to anyone who hasn't liked this game. Um, I first played it on the PSVR, and in virtual reality, it was awesome. I just played the demo unit that it came with, and I'm and I, I'm actually thinking of buying the whole version. Uh, but then I got this on Stadia. And I'm like, ah, it can't be that great, but I'm going to try it out anyways. Well, in here, you can actually walk around. As you see, I'm walking forward really slowly because uh, I'm dodging bullets. And if you don't know about the game, the bullets, well, everything only moves as you move, and, except for bullets. So the best way to maybe describe it is everything's always moving, but it's so slow you can't tell when you stop. And the reason I word it that way is... Bullets will still go, as you can see, even though I stopped. But they're really, really slow. You can dodge them. Um, so it gives you a great amount of time to aim and shoot. Like here, I'm lining up the crosshairs. I shot, and I'm going to move myself to the side. Um, so I got both of them, and then you'll see it just replays through everything I just did really quick. Um, going super hot, super hot. That part's kind of annoying. I wish it wouldn't do that part. Uh, but it's actually really good. I've actually played through this game all the way through twice. Uh, here I will fail um, because I always fail on this one a couple times. But you'll see I threw my gun at him, took his gun, and then I capped him because even though I threw my gun at him that doesn't kill him. Uh, and I always miss this guy. Uh, so let's jump ahead a little bit to the one where I don't miss him because it's the first time I played this board a bunch of times. It's the first time I actually hit that guy right there while he was running. So here we go. Um, I'm going to throw the gun at him. I'm actually going to give him a couple punches. I should have punched him one more time, because if you can time everything right... Um, oh, not here. I always hit the wrong button. But if you can uh, punch him a couple times, then you don't have to shoot him. And that, you know, you you got to you got to rechamber a bullet. Uh, well, I mean, it's a semi-automatic chambers itself. But right there, that was the first time I ever hit that guy out there. So that was pretty exciting for me. Uh, but as you can see, the area glows red as somebody appears. Uh, you don't know how many people are going to be on each board. Here you'll see I was trying to shoot there a little bit, and it wasn't fully chambered. Uh, but as you'll, you'll notice, as I'm moving, they're moving. And then as I slow down, they slow down. And there I'm out of ammo. So I'm going to throw my gun. It's a long distance, but luckily there's a gun dropped here from when I first got that first guy. They will pick up guns too, though. So if they don't have a gun or you throw a gun at them and you don't kill them right away, they'll go and pick up a gun if you don't pay attention. Um, so... It's awesome. <laughs> but uh, here I'll play through one, and then I'm going to slow down the ending of it to show... Um, how it goes. Sorry for the pause there. I was watching it. So here you just got to hit... You know, it's pretty simple. I didn't have a gun. Hit him, take the gun. Shoot this guy. He doesn't have a gun. And then I'm going to shoot this guy. Uh, this board actually isn't too bad. Uh, the well, I say that because I've played it so many times now. Uh, you know, you do got to get oriented on where everybody is. Uh, but most of the people here don't have uh, a weapon. And if you miss, it sucks because you do only have so many bullets. So if you take a gun from someone and they have shot it, you don't... That's a bullet gone, which is... I, I like that realism. It's not like every time you pick it up, it's just a full clip. Uh, so yeah, so I will get these last two guys here. Well, hopefully... And then once that's done, I'll throw the gun because I finished. It just automatically does that. All right, so here I'm speeding it up so you can kind of see what it looks like. Actually, I meant slow it down. But after your round, they show you um, everything you did. And it's actually really cool. I wish there was a way to slow it down. Maybe there is. Uh, maybe there's a way to get that super hot off there too. But, I mean, you could go ultra slow through it and then and stop at times. And it'll play it out like normal like that never happened. And I actually find that really cool. So I'm going to jump ahead right here. Um, so you... And you'll see here, everything's going to get, like, distorted and stuff. I left that part in so you can see what I'm t about to describe. Uh, but you're in a virtual environment, and you get pulled out of it right here because there's a corruption in the file kind of thing. And you're talking to a friend of yours who gave you the file to play the game. And one of the cool things about it is, so he'll be, so right here, you'll see there's some texting going on. And uh, he'll end up giving me an update to the game, and you download it. And it gives you new boards and stuff. Um... You know, when you think this is about the end, it actually keeps going. There's a lot of little, um, so it's like an old terminal type style. And there's other, like, directories, or folders in the directory and everything you can go to. So there's a bunch of things you can check out. But the game itself is pretty much what I'm talking about right now. And uh, it's really good. Uh, especially this next board here. Uh, it took me a bunch of times to uh, 
get through it, so I'm just going to... Well, not this time. I didn't actually play the way through it. I just wanted to put it on here. But uh, I'll jump to it here real quick. Okay, so hopefully I sound a little bit better with the breathing. Sorry about that. I'm trying to control it a little bit, which actually makes it a little harder. But uh, like I said before, I'm not feeling the best. But like I also said, show must go on. So uh, if you like... Wish me, uh, wish me some betterness by uh, hitting that like button. But uh, otherwise, <laughs> uh, this board is actually a pretty cool board. As you saw, you start out without having uh, any weapons, you, but you're at a bar, so you can throw stuff right away. Um, and actually, I thought I was doing pretty good here, and I end up getting shot in the back because I. One of the things I mentioned earlier: when you throw a gun at someone, you don't kill them; you just disarm them. So right there, I disarmed them. I go take care of this guy, and I'm not paying total attention. He's still alive. Maybe it's not that guy. It was someone else. Oh, no, he's reaching down for... Oh, this is where I told you he'll reach down for a gun. So there, I hit him. Not paying attention. Come on, where is it? There it is. The gun. So I pick up the gun. Hopefully. Ha. Huh. There we go. So I take care of this guy, and... I get hit from behind. Uh, it's a one punch. They get you once, that's it. So you do gotta be careful with it. Uh, this one goes a lot smoother. And uh, I don't waste any time just getting rid of the bartender right away. You kind of, uh, they have a pattern. So you do get, you get to learn where they're at and you get to play right away. Um, I didn't run into any issues where there was, um, you know, limits on how often you could play. Uh, once in a while you mess up too. This one's nice just because it's forgiving with having just so many things you can throw. Um, I, but it's, it, it doesn't seem fast paced, but it is fast paced, so it's good that way. Uh, a, a trick too is if you see someone with a gun and someone without a gun, and, and you know you can't shoot very quickly, because you get machine guns and stuff later which shoot a lot quicker, but, or shotguns that are a lot more deadlier, but they will, um, one of my personal suggestions is shoot the person without the gun, because it's quicker to then throw your gun than disarm the person with a gun than it is to wait for it to chamber another bullet. Uh, so I always, like right there, you'll see I threw my gun. But once again, not paying attention, got hit in the back. Um, this one here, I I end up finishing it. So, But I'll let that go. You'll see I'll th throw here. But yeah, if, if you haven't played Super Hot yet, it's uh, I highly suggest it. It's fantastic. Um, I'm not sure if you're a pro member with Stadia, then you probably already picked it up. If you didn't, check to see if it's still one of the free games. Uh, they do drop off after a while. I want to say um, Xbox has a sale on it right now if you are um, a Game Pass subscriber. Uh, but if not, they do have it on there. And then, of course, the PSVR version, even though it's different, is fantastic. Uh, it's still, even though you don't move around in that one, everything's from standing in one, uh, one point of view, it's still awesome being surrounded. I would actually... I don't know if I had to pick between the two, I would actually say they're actually about... They're, they're even. I don't know which one I'd pick. Actually, I'm, I love VR. I still think I would pick this one. Um, just because I do like the fact that you can run around. There's some boards on here that are actually a lot bigger. Uh, where you're running around cubicles and things like that. And they just keep coming. Um, I mean, there's some pretty difficult boards where I was starting it over and over again. But yeah, you'll see uh, I just finished it right there. And that's it. It's going to quick run through all of it. Um, otherwise... Uh, yeah, if you like that, uh, feel free to uh, hit that like button if you didn't notice I mentioned that earlier. Uh, but uh, also uh, subscribe if you want to see more gameplay, good comments, whatever. Um, I'm always trying to learn on better things to do or not do. Uh, so otherwise, uh, thanks.
super.